Alright guys, I'm going to do a quick video for you today. Um, I have my 2007 uh, Yamaha R6 and I'm going to clean and lube my chain. I'm going to be going to the mountains tomorrow and I haven't cleaned and lubed it since I got it. So I probably need to do that. Got a pit bull stand, got a socket to adjust the pit bull stand, got a rag, some shop towels, a grunge brush. Um, this takes the nasty stuff off, this puts lube back on it, and uh, that's our tools. So first thing we got to do Let's put it up on the pit bull stand. Having a pit bull stand makes it way easier and way faster to do this, and I'll demonstrate you why. I have another video here. Um, that is my uh, my SV one. I did that one with some little hand thing on the under the wheel, and it, it sucked. I'm gonna show you how fast this one is. So uh, yeah, let's get started doing this. All right. So the first thing we gotta do is get the bike up on the pit bull stand. Most of you probably have done this before, but in case you haven't, I'll show you how I do it. Because I'm always doing this stuff one by one person at a time. I, I can't. I don't have anybody else helping me. All right. So the bike is leaned over. Obviously, this needs to be put on straight so you don't scratch your swing arm up. So on my R6, I have this little area here. I just hold it in there. You pull the bike up kind of straight, and you just get it in. And once you get one, it'll probably fit the other one. There we go. All right, that side, that side, you check it. All right, you hold it like that. The bike's not up. Then you just push down, and the bike will come up. So now they got the bike up on the uh, the stand. It's in neutral. You want it in neutral so you can do this. Um, okay, so now we'll get started with the, uh, the cleaning process and whatnot. All right, guys, so first things first. We have a nasty chain. Um, well, the first thing I'm going to be doing, uh, this stuff came with uh, the grunge brush that I ordered a while back ago. Um, so I'm just going to use that. There's a lot of stuff you can use and you can look it up and stuff like that. But um, it's just a degreaser. So I'm going to apply that to the chain. I'm just going to apply it while I rotate it. Just so it gets on the chain. Because obviously you can't clean it until it, this stuff's all over it. Don't get it on your wheel though. If you can help it. Alright, so we're pretty on the chain there. It looks all on it. Alright. Alright, so now we got that on. And the grunge brush is just what it is, you know what I mean? Just like, just clean your shit. You know, so you can tell the difference. You have these pieces that haven't been cleaned, so you just get that gunk off the outside of it. But you can see the gunk on the front. You can't see it on the other side. So just make sure you get it, you get it all over the place. Um, you can do this with a rag. I just have a grunge brush, so I use it. All right, so now I've gone through and I've just you know held a grunge brush like this, so it gets the front back and I mean the bottom. I just run the chain a few times. So I've got all this stuff loosened up, basically. There's a lot of nasty stuff. So, got a clean towel. If you grab it and clean it, yeah, you get all that gunk off and see how much cleaner it is now. So now you go through and wipe all the shit off that's loosened up with a grunge brush. And here's the towel. And here's the chain. You can see it's a lot cleaner. Alright, so now your, clean, uh, your chain is cleaned, yeah? So now, you gotta lube it up. Lube it back up. Um, so, yeah. So, how we do that? So we have our lube. You can get whatever type you want. Um, there's a lot of controversy online, so you can just uh, have fun doing that. So, you don't want this on your tire. You don't want this anywhere on your bike, really. Hmm... Some people put their bike in first gear and do this, but I don't want them to get my fingers cut off. So I'm not going to do that. I don't have a little little uh, straw nozzle for this thing, so it's kind of treacherous. So I'm just going to get it really close to the bike. That's uh, getting on the tire. Uh, oh well. Okay, so that's all the way on the chain. And that's why you'd use a rear stand, because it's so much faster. So, you can, if you're doing this one person, you can just like, just get a cloth behind it, move it a few lengths, do it again. 
do it again. Um, ideally, you'd have somebody helping you, and you could just like they could spin the tire, and you could just hold this here with one hand and then spray with the other hand. Um, but if you're one person, you know, it's just you have to spend a little more time doing it one by one. So here's a demonstration of if you have somebody helping you, aka my girlfriend. All right, so she's gonna spin the tire. Yeah, go at it. All right, so now I can just hold the cloth and just. So now I have two hands to let this stuff just go. You can go faster, babe. Okay. Okay, good? yeah. So now the chain is super lubed. Haha, with your girlfriend's help. <laughs> my chain is super lubed with my girlfriend's help. And um and you can tell there's still nasty stuff like dripping down. Like see like you get a little white part of their egg. So there's still stuff inside of it, but I think you're always gonna have that stuff. Um, yeah, so I'll give it a few more rotations. But yeah, um, you can tell uh, compared to the first, uh, first time we saw it, the chain is way cleaner than it was. Alright guys, so that was cleaning and lubing a motorcycle chain using a pit bull rear stand. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning, but swing arm spools are not required with a pit bull stand they have some spoolless ones um, I just have one with the, that requires spools so I just get spools for whatever bike I have um, and yeah I hope this helped you out if you didn't know how to do this and uh, yeah you should clean your chain every uh, I think two months or two thousand miles something like that it all depends on how much you ride I ride all the time so I like to keep my stuff kind of clean I've actually gone a little ways a little bit longer than I, I like without cleaning it, so, um, yeah, see you guys on the next video.